And anger in the East County after somebody tried to tear plaques off of a military memorial, a memorial dedicated to local service members who died protecting our country. It is a story that we first brought you yesterday at 5. Today, 10 News military reporter Bob Lawrence has why one family says this goes beyond simple vandalism. Douglas Baum was a 20-year-old Army sergeant who was killed in Vietnam, but you won't find his name or the names of a lot of others who were killed in that conflict at this memorial, because vandals were trying to pry off the plaques. The two plaques had the names of East County war dead from Vietnam. It's a sad thing that uh, there's no respect for those who have given their lives. Among those names, Clayton Baum's son, Douglas. Douglas killed in uh, 1967. Baum enlisted in the Army and was sent to Vietnam. He was killed during the Battle of Doc Tho. Three years later, Clayton and Eleanor Baum, as seen in this old newspaper clipping, took part in building that memorial. So did Arrested Johnson's father. It's really disheartening um, to think that somebody would lower themselves to that. The plaques were hanging by a thread. And I just don't understand why people would want to do that. Johnson, in fact, took the plaques down and is safeguarding them. It was 50 years ago this week that two battalions of combat Marines landed by sea and air at Da Nang, considered the start of the U.S. buildup. The war would eventually claim more than 50,000 lives. Douglas Baum was among them. For his actions, he was posthumously awarded the Purple Heart, a bronze and silver star. And in an area his parents called Doug's Corner, there's a handmade sign, lest we forget. We forget too soon of the efforts that these people made and other soldiers that made in the past. Bob Lawrence, 10 News. We'll never forget. The hope is to more securely reinstall the two missing plaques in a day or so.